Some television shows are filmed on Hollywood sets, but Game of Thrones isn't one of them. The HBO series takes place in the fictional continents of Westeros and Exos, and many of the locations exist in real life. So take a trip with us as we show you the real cities and places that serve as the backdrops for this dramatic series, like the Eyrie. Did you know it was inspired by a real monastery in Greece? Stay tuned to see the shocking photos. If this is your first time visiting our channel, don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a big thumbs up. Today, we'll be showing you 10 Game of Thrones locations that exist in real life. Dorne one of the most beautiful settings in Game of Thrones is Dorne, located in the far south region of Westeros. In many scenes on the show, you can see the beautiful balcony that overlooks the spectacular garden. While many of the scenes on the show take place in the dreary mountains and snow-covered forests, the water gardens of Drone is bright, colorful, and breathtaking. But would you believe us if we told you the real-life setting is much more beautiful than what's shown on the program? The fictional world of Dorne is actually a place called Real Alcazar. In the city of Seville, Spain. It was originally founded as a fort back in the early 900s. Later, it was turned into a royal palace for the Moorish kings. Because it's considered a historical landmark, it's rare that anyone is actually allowed to film inside of it. But Game of Thrones producers fell in love with the setting and they just knew it had to be included in the series. They didn't even need to bring any additional props or decorations with them because the garden was perfect just the way it was. The beautiful garden setting of the royal palace exceeded their expectations, and they knew they would never be able to build a set that could even come close to looking as marvelous as the real thing. Daenerys Throne Room after leaving Dorne, it's time for us to head off and take a journey to the continent of Exos. This is where the nine free cities are located, and it's also where you'll find Daenerys' throne room. After the character conquered the city of Marine, it was only right that she took refuge in her new home, an 800-foot pyramid. On top of the pyramid was a throne, and the place where Daenerys kept her dragons. On camera, her throne was nothing less than jaw-dropping. Leading up to her bench was a flight of stairs that were built by the show's production crew, but the the surrounding area where her throne resides is actually a real-life location. When the show went on the hunt for the perfect spot for Daenerys and her dragons to call home, they stumbled upon the city of Split, Croatia. They fell in love with a place called Diocletian's Palace an ancient ruin that survived the fall of the Roman Empire. In the 4th century, the palace was used as the retirement home of Emperor Diocletian. However, today it's surrounded by a bustling city full of shops, cafes, apartments, and delicious restaurants. If you get the opportunity to travel to the city of Split one day, don't forget to take a tour of Diocletian's palace so you can see Daenerys throne up close and personal. The Caves you probably remember back in Season 2 when the characters Melisander and Davis landed ashore the Stormlands. Davis was instructed to take Melisander off into a cliff and inside of a dark cave, and then she gave birth to the shadow creature as Davis cowered in the corner in shock. The location of this scene could have been filmed anywhere in the world, and others assumed that it was nothing more than a production set. But they were wrong. Game of Thrones is one of the few TV shows that loves to use real-life locations to make the backdrops of each scene look as real as possible. It's all about authenticity, and you can only get that by filming in locations that fit the storylines of the show. So when it came time to scout a location for the cave scene, the show headed out to Northern Ireland. The actual location is called the Caves of Cushendon, and they were formed over 400 million years ago due to extreme weather conditions. If you take a trip to the coastal village of Cushendon, all you have to do is take a brief walk down a pathway that leads you straight inside the caves. Unsurprisingly, the place has become a popular tourist destination for Game of Thrones fans. And thankfully, everyone is able to tour the caves without worrying about any creepy shadow creatures attacking them. The Haunted Forest Next, let's travel back to Westeros to beyond the wall and inside the haunted forest. This wooded area is inhabited by the wildlings, but the area is in danger of being overtaken by the Night King and the White Walkers, ancient ice creatures who are thousands of years old. You've probably seen the haunted forest in the series, and you may have even wondered if this place was just a TV set or if it existed in real life. Well, we're here to let you know that it does exist, and we're about to show you the actual location. The real-life haunted forest is located in an area called Tollymore Forest Park in Northern Ireland. 
It's right next to the town of Newcastle and it rests on 1,600 acres of land. This sprawling natural oasis is covered in gorgeous scenery, including ancient redwoods and Gothic stone arches that were built in the 18th century. The park also includes the Shimna River, various bridges, caves, and grottos. So it's definitely the perfect spot for Game of Thrones to film. There are so many hidden areas and large grassy knolls where they can stage many of their outdoor scenes. So the next time you're watching the show and you see the characters venturing off inside the haunted forest, you won't have to wonder if the location is really real or really fake. Pike are you having fun on our journey across the real-life locations of Game of Thrones yet? If so, we are sure you'll really be amazed by this next setting. It's time for us to travel to the northwest region of Westeros to Pike on Iron Isles. Pike is where Theon, the son and heir of Lord Balin Gregjoy, was born. If the surrounding areas of Pike look really familiar to you, it's probably because the location exists in real life. Game of Thrones decided the small fishing harbor of Ballantoy in Northern Ireland was the perfect place to film some of the show scenes. When you see the harbor on your TV screen, it looks completely different. The harbor is full of warships and small boats. But, in reality, Valentoy is a cozy and quaint little town that has a few tiny boutique shops, some restaurants, and just two churches. Even though it's considered a rural town, tourists have been flocking to this destination for years to enjoy the beautiful scenery. However, after it was exposed as the filming spot for Game of Thrones Pike Island, the number of curious tourists who wanted to see a piece of television history increased. To capitalize off of its newfound fame, the town even built a small plaque overlooking the harbor in dedication to Theon and Game of Thrones. Great Sept of Baylor in King's Landing, located in the capital of the Seven Kingdoms, viewers of Game of Thrones are very familiar with the Great Sept of Baelor. It's the exact same location where Queen Cersei Lannister took her infamous Walk of Shame. She later ordered the Sept to be destroyed after the trial of Loras Tyrell. But in real life, the Great Sept of Baelor is still standing tall and in all its glory in the city of Dubrovnik, off the coast of Croatia. This historic site is actually known as the Jesuit Staircase, and it's located in front of a church in Dubrovnik's town square. Because of its religious background, the church initially denied Game of Thrones requests to have Cersei film her walk down the staircase. And we can't really blame them, especially since the scene called for Cersei to walk around in her birthday suit. But thankfully, they changed their mind and gave permission for the character to be filmed in the buff. In real life, the dramatic stone staircase is the perfect place to take a selfie. Just be sure to post it on your social media accounts and make all your friends jealous. And when you're done reenacting your favorite Game of Thrones scenes, you can head off to have your picture taken on a replica Iron Throne at one of the city's souvenir shops. Marine the greatest city-state in the Bay of Dragons is Marine. Located at the mouth of a river, it's separated from the Red Waste by a series of mountains. On the show, you'll notice the beautiful structure sitting on top of a steep cliff. That's where the wealthy residents of Marine live in their glorious pyramids overlooking the city. It's a breathtaking sight, but would you believe us if we told you it's even more beautiful in real life? Check out this actual photo from the actual landscape. In real life, Marine is known as the Fortress of Clis in Croatia. It is an ancient historical site that was overtaken by the Romans, but after the fall of the Roman Empire, it's become a fortress for Croatian kings. Clis is a small hillside village with nearby vineyards and stunning olive groves. The picturesque city looks like something you'd see in a painting, and it's hard to believe you can actually travel there. Since it was built on top of the rocky ridge, visitors who travel to the top get a bird's eye view of the city of Split, which is another popular city that Game of Thrones uses for many of its scenes. It's definitely something you'd need to see in person to really appreciate its beauty. So if you ever get the opportunity to check out some of the Game of Thrones filming locations, Fortress of Clist would definitely be at the top of your travel list. The Eyrie Game of Thrones fans know the Eyrie all too well. It's located in the eastern part of the continent of Westeros, and seeing it on TV is a magnificent sight. The Eyrie sits on top of a slender mountain that stands straight up in the air. The only way to reach the top is through a narrow path that's guarded by archers. Because of its rocky and windy path, the Eyrie Castle has been safe from being overtaken and overruled by captors.
on the show, the exterior of the Erie is obviously computer generated, but the show did shoot a few scenes at the location that it was inspired by. It's known as the Meteora in Greece, and it was the home of 24 monasteries, six of which are still standing today. Perched atop rock formations, this location is considered a holy place for Christians all around the world. The giant rocks of Meteora sit high above the city of Kalimbaka. It was built by monks who joined together to build the fortresses of solitude. They carried construction materials to the top of the rocks using just ropes, folding ladders, nets, and baskets. Pretty impressive, right? For centuries, the site was unknown to tourists, but after Game of Thrones used it as an inspiration for the Eerie, the number of visitors traveling to the sacred location is bound to skyrocket. King's Landing the capital of Westeros and the home of the Red Keep is known on the show as King's Landing. Home to the King of Andals and the First Men, King's Landing's real-life location is called Fort Lavrajanek in the city of Dubrovnik, Croatia. Located on top of a high cliff, the triangular fort has three levels that are protected by high walls. The show thought this area would serve as the perfect backdrop for the Red Keep and the King's family and court, and they were right. As soon as this real-life location was discovered, the city of Dubrovnik experienced an influx of visitors who wanted to tour the fortress for themselves. It was a good thing that the new, curious tourists were helping to stimulate the city's economy, but it turned into a major problem as well. The city has become extremely overcrowded with the number of Game of Thrones fans who have swept the area. So, to combat this problem, the city was forced to cut back on the number of people who are allowed inside of the area. Just 4,000 visitors per day are permitted inside of Dubrovnik. Brovnik, but the lucky few are in for a treat as soon as they touch foot on this popular destination. The guided tours take tourists around the entire city so they can mark all of the show's landmarks off their bucket list. House of the Undying Last but not least is the House of the Undying. This is the place where Daenerys, Jorah Mormont, and Kevaro entered in search of Daenerys' dragons. She nearly escaped death after being chained to one of the house's walls by Payette Pri. Her dragons came to the rescue by burning Pri at her command. The headquarters of the Warlocks of Korth is a large tower that looks like it could definitely be something that was created by the show's prop department. But the House of Undyne actually exists. In the city of Dubrovnik, the Tower of Minsida is the real-life House of Undyne. It's a fort that was built in 1319, facing towards the land. It was named after one of the town's noble families, and it's protected by its huge outer wall. The architecture is just as beautiful as it looks on television, especially the decorative gothic crown that sits on top of it. This lucky tourist and Game of Thrones fan was able to visit the actual fort to take a picture while channeling her inner Daenerys. And you can visit there too. The entire city of Dubrovnik has turned into a haven for Game of Thrones fanatics, who aren't content with just watching the show on their television screens. They want to see it in real life to really feel a part of the entire series. Which of these Game of Thrones real-life locations would you like to visit? Make sure to leave your answer down below in the comments section. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to check out our friends at The Trendy to see more cool videos for teenagers.